welcome everyone. We have the finance committee meeting tonight. Today is the uh, 17th of April and it's uh, 6 o'clock and we'll get started. Today we'll be really going over little, you know, the budget and whatever that we missed on the warrant that <coughs> we can finish up with. There's an update of the warrant. Where do you want to start, David? Uh, well, let me give you the, uh, the road map of where we are. House Ways and Means came out with their recommendation that's gone to the House. That will go be transmitted probably unchanged to the Senate Ways and Means, and Senate Ways and Means will come up with the budget, which will then be uh, sent to the Senate chambers. They'll, they'll vote that whatever differences are worked out in what's called a conference committee and then the governor will sign and exercise line item vetoes and then the legislature has the opportunity to override with a two-thirds majority uh, any line item cuts. So we're just talking about a process which is going to take us to the end of June and into July. Um, I don't expect us to be looking at this process any later than say mid-July. I have got years where they're still wrangling about the budget in December, and that's an unhappy picture indeed. So things seem to be winding up. It's helped at the state level with much higher than the expected um, income above their benchmarks. I think tax collections are running $900 million above their benchmarks, so things are looking pretty good. It's an election year that people want to throw some money around. Uh, so the House Ways and Means uh, cherry sheet that just came out netted us $89,000, so we now have additional money to play with. This came out mainly in the form of a reduced charter sending tuition assessment. So. so we have big open items on the uh, uh, budget without getting into a discussion about what you may want and need for an override mm -hmm. are the schools. There are $158,000 requests that we have not addressed. And then the ambulance, which is going to cost a minimum $55,000 more than we had expected. So you put those two together, you come up with about $213,000 which equals the 90,000 plus the uh, 120 that I had kept in reserve for, for these other things that we were talking about, these upgrades to municipal functions. Means a heavier reliance upon free cash, means less money in free cash for capital, but it is doable. Mm -hmm. so, then there are a couple of open items left on the warrant. Uh, I was hoping that the select board would sign the warrant tomorrow night. That looks increasingly unlikely because the ambulance subcommittee will not have had a chance to meet and come up with a budget recommendation. So we will be signing no later than April 25th. That's our drop dead deadline. If we don't post on the 26th, we don't have a town meeting. Okay. Town meeting is definitely going to be an annual town meeting and then a budget adjustment town meeting in the, in the fall. That's simply the way it's going to work out. We've got union contracts that are still open and we have other items that uh, certification of free cash, certification of the res uh, designated reserve funds for the three enterprise funds. So we have to wait till the fall to get that money available. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have um, about not you said the ninety. Yep. What we're sh and I mentioned before everybody came. I mentioned and Val, you might remember this too. A couple of years ago, uh, we did the, the schools. They they wanted um, instead of the the full amount, we gave them uh, seventy five in the fall. So we pushed it up. So they need one hundred and fifty 
was just an idea. If we did 75 now, 75 later, something like that. Mm -hmm. Just a thought to get to those numbers. Um, so we have the 90 plus another, thir hopefully 30. Well, we haven't re raised the revenues at all, so that's another place we can go and look for money in the case. So I was just saying when you all came in, for example, the demand fees, if you move the demand fees from $15 to $30, that's an additional $30,000 of revenue that we have not put into this budget. So we can look at other revenues and, and come up with other monies that way. That still has to get voted in. Yeah. So, um, but if it does, so we're getting there. Um, mm -hmm. Any other thoughts on how to get So, I want to revisit the departments because there were some departments that asked for uh, more funding, such as um, the ones that haven't gotten their step increases that have needed it mm -hmm. for multiple, I think it's a few years at least. So if we were to add those things in there, um, what would be the additional cost to each one of those departments? Well, I don't know that off the top of my head. I'd have to calculate that out. I can do that. Um, so I think there was Jess. The, the I think hers was, wasn't, that was... Hers was a step increase yeah, to step she, 10. Okay, but before that, it was the COLA that hers was off. No, right. hers was the step increase. She needs to be a step 10, am I correct, David? Uh, she has to be at the top step. Yes, um, so she, 10, which she hasn't gotten there. Where is she now? We haven't issued step increases in <coughs> a couple of years. A few years, so yeah. she asked to be able to get her step. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so the other question was, is how I know the senior center lady, uh, woman, Suzanne. Suzanne. So from what I understand, what, I just want to understand how she feels that she isn't getting what she was supposed to get when she got hired. So I don't understand that part of it. Yeah. I know she wrote it out she for us, want, but wants, you... Yeah, she wants step increases that other people didn't get. So, uh, that other people didn't get? Okay. Yeah, so... You know, this is one of the problems with having, you know, you've got a lot of benefits with a workforce that's very loyal and around for a long time, but the problem is, is then you have an equity issue that people max out in their steps. So if you give people a step increase, it's unevenly distributed across the workforce. If you give a COLA, everybody gets it. Uh, and so this town has been giving COLAs where it can. Mm -hmm. Recognizing that we, you know, th things have been tight for many years, so the people who were expecting to get steps but didn't get them uh, are now asking very much for their steps. They feel that they should be getting them. I agree because if you, your union employees are negotiating to get more funding, more money, and then it's always the non-union ones that have to not receive when there's a shortfall. I kind of feel like they're getting gypped, what others are getting. And we need to seriously look at that. It was brought up last year as well. Um, and so just because they're non-union doesn't mean that they don't deserve it. I agree that if you, know, you treat everybody equitably and share it fairly and people have chosen to give colas rather than steps because Colas, everybody gets steps only, some people get. Well, so. because they've been, been here <coughs> where I work, I'm smaxed out on my steps. Yeah. So now I only get my colas and whatever my union vote manages to vote with the city with for my raise every year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a union negotiating my raise on top of my cola. So, what makes most sense for uh, giving people the fair increase that they're looking for? I, it doesn't seem to me that the, the annual town meeting is a good place to do that because you're, in a sense, negotiating with unions at the same time as you're giving non-union people increases. And wouldn't it be better if we waited until all the contracts 
uh, settled and give everybody an equitable uh, uh, cut of, of the benefits. In Suzanne's case, um, the senior center director, she's working 40 hours though, right? And every other yes. exempt employee only has to work 35 to 37 and a half. It depends. <clears throat> but every other department head, it's, I was a department head, so I was at 25 so is, for years. What is the pleasure of the finance committee? What do you want to That's do? what I'm saying. Don't I, think it's just a step. She wants to be just as consistent with everyone else, well, which I, also means hours per salary, right? Mm -hmm. So if she's working 40 and making X, and somebody else is working 35 and making X, it's not equitable. Right. So I think that there, this, I agree with a lot of th these things, and I think, yes, it would be great if we had an HR person, because that's what an HR person would do, <coughs> these kind of things. But um, also, I think that we could look at doing this, and when we're doing a form of government, we can review all the different spots. Um, I just don't think we can handle doing, putting this on right now in this budget to do this right now, today. Um, I think it's 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 something that needs to look at the whole picture. I mm -hmm. think we need to not look at just one one department right now, um, because so, so it's a few departments, and yeah. so you were going to basically say to these non-union people, you're on hold again. Until we well, no, we we, we haven't. We've been jumping in on these things and giving them like the, they jumped on the cola in the fall. We made sure they all got their uh, cola just, you know, after the union got theirs, they, all the other employees got the cola, right? So they got increases. So it's not like they're being forgotten. We're not, And also, we're just trying to make this budget work right now. I don't, I'm not saying that they're not deserving of it, but I don't, haven't done, nobody's done a study of it. Nobody knows if they're, where all of the, I thought there was a study done. Yeah, but I, I don't, we don't have it right here. We're not doing that at this point. Yeah, it's pretty stale at this point. I think that we I'd need... I recommend that we do it professionally and do it right. I thought it was done, though. I, I, turned, in, I turned in one to the Board of Selectmen a couple of years back, and I haven't heard anything. <clears throat> so... Which one was that? The one that I did. Oh, of... Okay, so what's the sense of doing that? another one professionally if they still haven't responded to the one that you handed them two years ago? So I think that uh, a couple of years ago there was a national election which threw everybody off. And I think that the momentum was taken out of everybody's motor at that time until we got our feet back on. So that's what I'm going to chalk it up to is that they had bigger things they had to worry about. Well, I think it needs to be revisited, um, and also um, some of the other things that need to be revisited. I know we did take away, you know, to make the budget work, the um, a lot of the stipends for all the different departments. Not that um, I do think down the road maybe we could relook at that and revisit it. It was unfair, you know, of where some stipends were, other stipends weren't. I mean, it was it was a crazy thing that. It, but it should be, you know, it's another thing down the road that they, you know, if a form of government's formed, a committee, we could look at that too. So there's... To a, oversee workload versus money. Yeah. 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 I think that was the biggest discrepancy, was well, workload was, versus there's, there's stipend. There's a lot of discrepancies in, mm -hmm. in I think, that um, in a lot of different departments. Yeah. And I think that that would be a good spot for it, is that committee. Yeah. Yeah. If, I think you're relying on a committee that your select board, which is brand new, is not, you know, going to jump into when they have other issues that they have to deal with because they can't, uh, obviously, there are more things that come across that are more important as time goes on. Therefore, the senior center building, the issues with that. So, I, you know... Well, I don't think that they will have the time to deal the like a pressing need for them to focus on what's getting a study together, spending a lot of time. But if they had a committee do the work and reported to them, I think that that would be something that they would look at because it's a it's a probably a lot of work to get all that done. Yep. And you did it, right? <laughs> all that work two years ago. 
Just, not just saying you, again. Yeah, not that you can't. Maybe revisit we could it. revisit that and see where we are, just yeah. to have that in front of us. Just a thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We get to see that too, right? Just so. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm all about information. But, um, for mm -hmm. right now, I think we just need to get um, for the town meeting. Mm -hmm. I, I think we need to close down this figure with the schools um, and the ambulance. So just so that we have something that we can go to town meeting saying we balanced um, without going into too much of our free cash because that could be so um, looking for more ideas <laughs> uh, one of the um, ones uh, but it's not a lot of money um, I did notice was was the Zoning Board of Appeals. That was one uh, of the boards that still had a stipend. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking the Planning Board was the only one left because that was, the, that was a, instead of employees, they are like employees, they're working board. Um, so I, um, I know that they don't have an employee, the Zoning Board of Appeals, and I believe that's why theirs was left. But that's something that you, we could look at, but it's only probably a $1,000. So it's yeah, not it's like it's going to be a huge yeah, deal. Not really, <clears throat> not really good but down the road, I thought maybe we should. I only bring it up, too, for consistency, you know, since we did the other boards. Well, your big sources of cash are going to be um, the, the, uh, the 80000 80, 90000 that you got from the cherry sheet. Mm -hmm. All right. You have thirty thousand dollars that you can easily raise in your in your revenue account. Probably have another fifty thousand dollars on top of that through mis miscellaneous increases that you can that you can uh, you can count on based upon performance of meals tax and performance of room occupancy tax and excise tax. Okay. So if you take a look at those three big ones, you can probably squeeze another 50000 out of there. Building inspections continue to exceed our benchmarks. We had thought about $93,000 for that for the year, and they had exceeded it by 40000 by the six-month period. They're continuing to add to that. So, you know, and they have easily at sixty thousand dollars coming to free cash just from that source alone. Okay. So another sixty thousand? No. Sixty thousand. From just the just building. From the building. So I wouldn't bank sixty thousand in one year to the next because a lot of it's dependent upon commercial activity. But you can bump that ninety thousand up to You can probably a hundred and ten thousand. You can probably add another twenty thousand there. And right. be conservative. Then there's the sin stuff, um, the marijuana. And you can pick up another fifty thousand dollars that way. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not how, how quickly, I mean, is that really coming around that quickly? I mean, it's just part, part of the reason why I have to meet with the Board of Health tonight is to make sure that they're working on regulations. I did meet with Compassion Care today. Uh, they're still very much interested in opening up their registered medical marijuana dispensary in Oct December. That's what they're telling me. Okay. All right. So once that happens, they've got to pay us fifty thousand dollars by the host community agreement. Just when they, not when they actually open their doors, when they when they get a certificate. When of they get a certificate. So. Mm -hmm. Where are they going to be? At the Sunoco station down by the uh, Friendly's restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And you're saying that's December? -ish. That's what they told me. So they were telling 15. me that they're actually happy that we have a moratorium in place on recreational marijuana because uh, that uh, helps out with their business model. Mm -hmm. right now, so. They're more medical oriented. Mm -hmm. 
So. And then you have about eighty to ninety thousand of free cash that you can count on. All right. Well, I was uh, the numbers I used at first was the twenty additional twenty for the building inspector. Yeah. 50 for rooms, meals, yep. all that stuff. Yep. 90 for the state yep. term sheet, and 30 for the excise. That means I'm short. We'll be short 20,000. <coughs> we still need to come up with 20,000 from just what so I just you, did. You can take that out of free cash. An yeah. additional to free because we are we are taking some. We already hit. We're already looking at taking some out of the free cash, right? Right. So let's. So this will be an addition. But I but I have left a, a, a no. reserve of free cash left. So you have eighty-seven thousand dollars of free cash that I have not um, found a use for. You can add another 5000 if you wanted to not put money into stabilization. Well, how about giving this, the, the, the doing the thing like we did before with the schools at the at fall? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The rule is you can always add to their budget after annual time meeting. You can't take the money away. Hmm. So, what is it, what, does anybody have any thoughts on that? I mean, we did that last time. It seemed to work okay. Remember when we did that? Mm -hmm. 75? When we gave it in, in the fall? I mean, maybe we don't do 75, maybe 25. You gotta make it big enough to get their attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mean, we had them in the budget for, you know, we're 150,000 150, difference. Um, so 75 and 75 is what you're saying? Well, that, that was the thought, yeah. So we, we fund it now. And, and, and two, because, of, you know, if they need it, if this, this, this is a plan for the unexpected. Well, they do have that, which they don't want to go below, but if we're going to give it back to them in the fall, that can just replenish if they needed to get into it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. What did you Jerry? think about the last time we did that? Um... There were multiple things that we held back. I just hate to always, you're hitting the school up. You know, I don't know, I guess if it works, then it works. Yeah. We actually don't know how much money we actually have until the fall anyways. Right. We never have a figure, an actual figure to the fall. That's the way it works. Um, so I mean that that I, at this point I'm thinking that would be like my recommendation um, is what I was thinking might work. I mean we still have to make sure we we're looking at to budget this we're looking at that thirty thousand though too and we, we need to make that mm -hmm. has to pass town meeting so mm -hmm. it's here we are at thinking and adding that in so that still has to pass town meeting so there are some so let's see the numbers if so we need. What we need is 213 is, is what I need right now. If we minus off 75 because we do it later, and we minus off the state gave us 90, right? And then I minus off another 50 for the meals. That leaves me at 9. No, I got an error. All right. What did you get? We need 150 for the schools, 50,000 for the ambulance. 55 plus 158. That's 213. $213,000 $213, for the school and ambulance. Right. All right. Now we just got 90,000 from the state. Oops, I make 213. Two thirteen. Okay. One twenty-three. 
123 mm -hmm. minus another 50 another for the 50 okay minus another 73 30. Another. Well, let's not talk, yeah another. well the, we're not sure the that 30 the 30s going to pass for vote. right i mean we're, it looks good but i mean yeah. i don't know all right so, so we're not counting that because I mean, it may not pass all right so plus 50 for That's receipts the Mm -hmm. We got 50 for the receipts. We just did that. We're down to 73. 20 for building inspector, you think is fair? Yep. Okay. So now I'm down to 53. So I did that. We did that. We did that. We did. And then if we just don't do, if, if we would be fine if we could do 75 for the school later. So now yeah, that we, would, we would balance. So you would have you have fifty three thousand dollars that you need to come up with, and you you can easily get that off of free cash, assuming the thirty doesn't pass. And if the thirty passes, then if the thirty passes, no, where not. do you get fifty three? That's doing the whole school, right? Yeah. So yeah. school at fifty one fifty eight, yes. ambulance, ambulance at fifty five. That's two thirteen. Yeah. At two thirteen, okay. take out. Fifty thousand in local receipts. Ninety for state. So I was 90. at fifty three. Okay, and I was at fifty three, and you're saying fifty three, and then if we do, if that excise passes, then you're down to thirty three. Right. That's a walk in the park, basically. Thirty three, but now then you're saying take that from free cash. Thirty three. Yeah. And that still leaves you fifty thousand dollars for free cash left over to um, use on capital. And that's within our policy? That's not within our policy. It's close to the policy. If you squint at it, you're off by $25,000. You wanted to have, you wanted to have uh, 75 for, uh, for uh, capital, but... Well, 50. I don't think our free cash is going to be you know, when we when we keep adding to our fifty on meals, rooms, and tax, and we're adding to the building inspector, well, that would so be that next year's free cash. Okay. Oh, uh, so we're jumping into the cash uh, for yeah, the yeah, following yeah. year. We're taking That's from right. our grandchildren. That's right. <laughs> That's how we're doing. So what we're doing? Yeah, I see. I, 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 you know, it would be nice to stay within the policy, is what yeah. I was... Well, isn't that keeping well, 75000 for free cash? Is that what you're talking about? We're talking about uh, taking an addition of 53000 out of free cash. What's our policy on the free cash? I free, free cash policy consists of two things mainly. Is that you want to reduce your reliance upon free right. cash by 75000 each mm -hmm. year until you get down to zero. Right. For recurring items within the budget. Right. All right. You want to leave in any case at least seventy-five thousand dollars of free cash for capital in any one year. Mm-hmm. So last year you used two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars of free cash for recurring items in the budget, and I'm proposing this year that we use one hundred and twenty-five thousand. So that's much more. Than a seventy-five thousand dollar drop. But that hundred and twenty-five thousand is not adding on this fifty-three thousand. Um, so if you added fifty-three, then you're still within your policy because you've dropped your free cash reliance by at least seventy-five thousand. But you don't have a seventy-five thousand dollar pocket of free cash at the end of the at the end of the run. Mm. You have a fifty thousand dollar pocket of free cash. I'm for staying with the seventy-five thousand, like the policy says, because of the fact that finance committee stood up at the last meeting and made it clear that if we accepted that last budget, that wasn't following the what the so the policy and what the the select board voted on. Mm -hmm. So I'm not for. You're staying within the guideline spot. What do, what would you what what do you think we should do to get there? David, in my opinion, always finds the money. So come fall, I'm sure it'll be there. 
<laughs> we can't get up on town meeting floor and live today, we'll find the money. And we'll... <laughs> you always seem to do it. We ended up 800000 free cash the year before. He finds lots of money. <laughs> it's good like that. <laughs> Was that not the case? You, right? Yeah. But it ended up being 800000 how well, whatever made up, you know, so yeah, I have faith in you. Yeah, that actually wasn't my doing. <laughs> that was other people's doing. <laughs> I'm just saying, you keep, the school's already looking at their own right, so. set of issues. Here's my thing. Okay. You're consistently, the school's always the first thing that we worry about. They have, within their own budget, I just have a hard time swallowing. Uh, I understand their expenses keep ex excelling, but our, um, our uh, students keep declining. So I have a hard time swallowing that, okay? Mm -hmm. I have a hard time swallowing that. We are not consistent across the board when it comes to our town employees, mm -hmm. regardless if you're union or not. Regardless, if I, I know you have great hopes for a new government. I don't foresee it happening in the next one or two years. So are you consistently going to keep asking your employees to sit back and wait to a new government, to we might have an HR person, we might have this, we might have that. Consistently, your select board always has stuff on the plate and they get other things get tossed aside. I don't have faith in having... Uh, um, a committee formed anytime soon for new government. If it happened, I thought it would be great. I sat with you mm -hmm. and David when all these these other nice people came in to our meeting mm -hmm. and explained how other towns do things. We took stipends away, not just to help in the budget, but to start changing the way our government is because area towns, as they said, they don't have those fees. They don't pay those fees. Mm -hmm. And now you're talking about... Well, I'm talking about looking at it. Well, yeah, I'm whatever. Not, I'm not you're, I understand yeah. that. But you keep wanting to put things off. And to me, we just took it away six months ago, and now we're thinking, or even you mentioning it, bringing it back, is like devil's advocate to me. But whatever. I'm just... There has to be some happy medium and I'm not a fan of free cash it being so large. It's great that it's large like that every year, but I think that we should be, when we come up with our numbers to generate our budget, I think we should be a little more closer, tighter, tighter okay? Mm -hmm. And every year it's an issue. We, the select board made this policy for $75,000. I'm not comfortable with lowering that to 50000 When we stood up on town floor, and made a statement that the your select board who created this policy is not willing to stand by it. So I think we really need to uh, look at each. You know, I I I, we, I felt that 19 was going to be a harder budget than it is, but David helped us along like he always does and came up with this nice large figure for us. <laughs> So basically, I, I have faith that come fall meeting, then the money would be there. But we have to do something, though, to present it to I, this meeting. I get that. But you know what? So a lot of these departments are, like, on very thin. They can't keep coming up with money and relying on $15 to a $30 fee. Mm -hmm. You can't rely on something you don't have. Or it hasn't even been voted into yet. So you can take that 30. That would be a bonus. That's what I'm saying. That's a bonus. So you can't, in my opinion, you cannot include that in your figure one. Okay. We didn't in this one, did we? The 30? Yeah. No, I'm at 53 without it. Without it. Without it. So if we... So if where you come up with your money, you got to look at your big departments. And of course, it's the school again. It's the school, your DPWs, your... Well, the schools, I'm not saying... Here, the school's 158000 So we're looking at, okay, we'll look at giving you the 158000 but let's maybe, we need the 50... Why don't we say we'll give you the hundred? 
How about we just give them 75 and say that's it? That's what we have. Well, I think why, that... Why, why come up with it in the fall? Because you don't... You actually have more than that. Oh. I mean, you got, we're just playing around with numbers sure. right here. We have more than 75. Right. So we need to come up with 50. Like if we said, okay, we'll hold back 50 from this from their request. All right. If then seven, we balance. If, if you wanted to get to 75, would you, you need, be right. 22,000? Would you be happy at 69? No. You're only 6,000 off. No. Because I'm not going to stand on the town floor and say we're not going to follow that policy. Well, if we say, you know, we're so close, it would be nice to be able to say we're in policy. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I hate to say that we're not, you know, we, we're mm -hmm. the ones that put that policy in. This, well, the select, the select board, board did. Well, you we both honored did. it. You, you, yeah. You, you we did it together. You jointly put this in place, both the of The idea is mm -hmm. to not eventually not use the free couch. That's right. So it all goes back to the Pirates of the Caribbean, don't you know? It's like Pirate Code. Hmm. Is it a set of rules? You have these. Or is it a set of guidelines to be thought about? We stood up on town floor and that, you know, I, you can, you all can vote on whatever you feel like. I'm not voting for it. I say take it away from the schools, whatever we need to do, come up with the schools in the fall. I have faith that we will have it. We seem to have it every year. So we need 22,000. We have 53 right now. We have 53. And we're proposing 75 to the school? Well, no, we wouldn't need to propose that big of a number. No. Then let's just get it to 75, just 22 less to the school. Are you against where the we are. school um, doing some of it in the fall? Yeah, some in no, the fall and some no, around. No. Well, I'm. I mean, you might want to ask the schools if they're okay with it. But well, that's how we did it last time. I mean, yeah. we mentioned yeah, it. Yeah, I'm only going with last time. Yeah, no, that works. So why wouldn't we just do that? Um, so, if we did, if we did fifty, put fifty from to even just the fifty from the school, push that off, and give so, them everything but the fifty, we'll be in policy, wouldn't we? All right, so, yeah, because we have 53 right now. So give them 100 and 108. Right. Plus 55. Just round it. You know, give them 100,000. Maybe keep the little extra. You wouldn't eight. give me 6,000 and you <laughs> take the 8,000 away. Come on. Easy math day. <laughs> All right, so that's 163 that we need to come up with in that case. So. Fifty thousand from receipt. Oops, goes the other way. One six three minus fifty thousand from Next local receipts. Local. Mm -hmm. Ninety thousand from state. state. This calculator is not behaving itself. I know what you mean. I had troubles with this one too. I was doing up the credit card bill not too long ago, and I came up with numbers that just didn't make any sense. It broke all your keys because it was such a large bill. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you have $3,000 still to raise. Well, then did you do 100 or 108? So, well, 3000 Did you do 100 or 108? Is that a yeah. trick well, question? No, but like if we were going to do the, if we were going to tell, like put it, give it to the schools and say, we're going to push this off, I it would be a round number. I'd rather say, give them the round number and say, okay, we'll just do So 105, because we're missing three, mm. right? That's, that's a good number. A good number. I mean, okay. I'm not trying to take yeah, from, no. I'm just no, trying no, to budget. No. Push it off. So schools get 105. And ambulance, no, the ambulance is still a working number, so we, we have to wait. Is so, it going to be higher oh, than 50? You think? Yeah, is it going to? That's we got 55 right now. 55 right now. So that's 160. 50 local. You're balanced. 
So if you give the schools 105 and assuming that we can get a 55 for the ambulance, which I know that we can, but they may want more. Mm -hmm. um, they being the committee, not, being, not necessarily anybody else. Yeah. You give 100, so you have 5,000 as a grace. So take 50,000 out of local receipts, 90,000 out of the state, state aid that we just got, thank you, the state. Uh, increase building inspector fees to uh, get us to the 20,000 we're balanced. And that's given that the ambulance doesn't And you didn't move. count the 30, additional but 30 in. If not. that passes. If that passes. Okay, so my next thing is, is that <clears throat> if there are funds over, available over, the 105 that we have to give the school back in the fall, my suggestion is before you get it and y'all spend it, that you seriously look at the non-union employees. Mm -hmm. And you put that money aside and do not spend it until we get a chance to look at something that was done two years ago, which got some funds to do then, or maybe it was free. I don't know which one you did as far as the UMass study. Yeah, because and seriously of look at that. And we're not looking at mo giving a hundred and three in the fall, am I right? It's a fifty. Fifty three. Oh, fifty three in the fall. Right, because we're funding a hundred okay. and three now, hundred and five now. Yeah. yeah. We're funding a okay. hundred and five now. So. So. If you look back in the previous years, historically, we always come back with more money. Which is. All right, so are we. Um, so, what happens if we come back with the more money? Can we put that aside until you look at the employee things? Yeah, you have surplus money. And you can look at uh, things that you were not able to achieve in your first uh, goals and objectives. Yeah, because speaking so of the pirates, make, Penzance, you want to keep the pirates and the ship happy. <coughs> That's right. So, if I want to kind of make that clear that if it's. In my opinion, this is what I would like to see happen. Okay. You give the school the money and anything over that, including the 30000 that might go through, and then the, maybe an extra 100000 that David didn't account for that's going to come back to us. You're writing this down, right? Yeah. Okay. So before you give it to the school is what you're saying? No, after you okay. give the school their funds, whatever's left Total over. Funds. Yeah, 50 something thousand yeah. in the fall, mm -hmm. right? Any of that funding that's left is set aside until we can look at the studies that were done two years ago because David's going to nicely get those out and put them on the select bin. To make all departments sort of the equity in all departments is mm -hmm. what you're saying. Yeah. Funding all of that to make sure that everybody's... We'll see what we can do with it. Okay. I think it needs to be addressed mm -hmm. sooner than later. Okay. All right, so... What do you think about that, David? What I recommend at this point is that we dive into the numbers. Not tonight, but one or two of us, and I'll certainly be happy to help out, dive into the numbers and make sure everything balances and that uh, we all agree that we have a balanced budget going into town meeting. Mm -hmm. And we meet again with jointly with the select board on Wednesday next. Look at our calendar. Are you going to bring those items up next Wednesday with the slip board, what I just asked? About going, in, yes. Particularly if somebody wrote it down. During I, the fall? You'll after have the, the email. The Everybody will email that will not be here next Wednesday. Okay. okay. So, next. 25th. The 25th, you're saying the okay. select board meeting. Yeah. It will be joint with the Finance Committee. Well, I think everybody has to have a conversation about this going into the public forum. Okay. Uh, you know, the, the, what the voters want is for people to be in agreement that this is how we're going to approach the budget. So we might as well find out if we are, in fact, in agreement. Yes. Uh, okay. What time would that be? Seven. Probably, we'd do that at seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah. Valerie, does that work for you? I think so. I don't have my phone with me. Right I'd be there, Terry. Right. And, yep, so, I'll be in. Okay. 
not in the state. Will you, will you be there? I can be there. Okay. All right. And I can be there, so at least three. I don't know about Gabriel. It will be three. I'll work, I'll work on the numbers in the next uh, day or so to come up with with uh, So when somebody, work. can we have, last year we had somebody ask us at town meeting what the free cash consists of. Can we have that, like, a uh, Yeah, free cash consists, consists of um, revenues that came in that you didn't expect. Mm -hmm. it, consists, it consists of money you didn't, that you thought you were going to spend and you didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, going into yesterday's snowstorm, I was feeling pretty good about mm -hmm. snow and ice. I'm feeling a little less so, but I think there's going to be a surplus there. Mm -hmm. um, it comes in with tax collections that you did not expect. Mm -hmm. uh, so back taxes and interest and penalties. So there's no uh, money out there that we haven't spent on projects that are coming back? Yes, there are, and that's in the, that's here, in, okay. in your warrant. Okay. Okay, it also consists of um, state assessments, which were not as high as you expected, or school and charter and charter uh, assessments that were not as high as you expected. Mm -hmm. So that will build free cash, so your charter numbers will sometimes drive your free cash up or down, depending. Mm -hmm. So that's basically it. Okay. Okay. Hey. All right, you want to run through whatever we're missing on here? I don't think there's a whole lot left. Okay. Um, Do we vote on everything that we didn't? Um, you see that. You voted. The last two, no one is, I guess. Cause oh, the uh, And actually, 20 center. through 23, we skipped. And then the last two, no one really did. The select board chose not to talk about that one. Okay. Is the senior center looking more positive? Oh, yeah. These days? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so looking on page 11 in capital expenses. So the, the school lights for 13,000, they're gone. Turns out Mass Highway is going to take them out for free, and we don't need them, so it looks like that's gone. So wow. That's another. That was a surprise. Yep. I th wow. So they can use that money for their. Uh you can use free cash for some other purpose. Their what the system they're working on, their ACs or whatever? The what? what the they, air conditioning? What are they working on that they were short money for? Oh, that was the air conditioner sort that they had in the elementary school. Mm -hmm. So they're at 169. You got to borrow. Almost 170,000 short. So if, if the, um, if the uh, school zone lights go, I'll just amend your. your Recommendation. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we have our recommendation. We did that all except for the fire, or we fire. recommended it, but they didn't have a number for us. At yeah, the time. you said uh, finance committee recommends the HVAC website and school zone lights and has no recommendation for the fire substation. Right. So uh, did they? Because they, they hadn't met. That, that's right. And that's they hadn't met. That's my note. Said so they were on hold until they meet. They meet tomorrow night. Oh, tomorrow. Uh, night. Yes, they meet at five thirty tomorrow. So, so we could. You could, they, He can post our meeting for next Wednesday. You guys can vote on yeah, it there. Yeah. Okay. okay. I wasn't going to vote on that anyways. Article. Right. Yeah. Article eleven and twelve is out. Mm -hmm. Demand fees. You still waiting for your recommendation on that? On page mm -hmm. 14. Yep. I can just want to put that with the select board, but okay. Yeah, I thought we voted on something. Or maybe not, because I didn't vote for that. Uh, we did something, but it wasn't that one, now. Okay. Because they didn't do that one either at the time. Oh, right. It says yeah. wait. Sorry. <coughs> Big check. So what's the pleasure of the board? Is there anybody want to make a motion on this at all? 
I'm not in favor of it. So, I mean, you want me to vote for it? I think you should wait till we hear what the select board says, and then you can go with them. Mm. Or if you truly vote, you know, yeah. you want to vote on it. I would be in favor of it, but um, to increase the demand fees, mm -hmm. just because it would be that it, it's not an outrage. My feeling, it's not an outrageous fee. Most fees on a, on a credit card late payments twenty three. I mean, thirty two dollars. You know, all checks thirty five dollars. I mean, well, that's I'm just new to this, but I think we just talked about it as a major part of. The possibility of, of the re right revenues, now, it would we? be a big deal. Yes, saying that if the voters voted for it, yay for us. Mm -hmm. And if we say no, it doesn't make. Mm -hmm. We have to go back to the beginning of this meeting and no, start we, well, over. No, we didn't add it. Maybe in. give the school less. No, no, we didn't. Add no, it I know 30, you didn't but, add it in, but, but you were saying, see, here we are. And then what if plus we have the thirty if they yeah. get mm -hmm. if it yeah. vote, you know. So but it was going to make it easier. We yeah. could it's definitely going to make it easier if they vote yes. Yeah. So, I mean, towards giving people steps. Mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. I mean, mm -hmm. so either we say yes to it or we go back and think about the 105 and whatever else and start over because I think we thought a lot about that 30 coming in. I mean, I'm yeah. new to this, but no, you have a really great point. Yeah. You know, I don't think yeah. we should go Maybe. back and forth and say. Mm -hmm. We can or we can or we shouldn't, we shouldn't. I'm not trying to sure. sway votes. I'm just trying to say if we really believe that this could help us, then we need to say why so the voters can hear us. Or we say, eh, it doesn't matter. And then we don't count it at all. What, at all. What and is, even say that it's an what did, option. What does the head of that department feel about? Does she agree with the increase? Well, she's of mixed mind with it, if I could speak for her. Um, you know, she pointed it out. When we met with the with divisions and said, okay, for Division 100, general government, we have a $30,000 gap that we need to close. And she said, well, this would be one way of closing it. Uh, so one fee adjustment would bring in $30,000 and meet that target that we initially set for that division at the beginning of the budget season. Um, it does mean that if you owe $1,000, the demand fee is $30. If you owe $5, the demand fee is mm -hmm. $30. Mm -hmm. There's no way of adjusting that. So. Right. But that's what everything is nowadays. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're um, $10, you know, if you're short, just $5 on your credit card. Yeah, you miss your payment. You, you miss, miss your, your payment. payment. But what are the other towns doing that are local to us? Well, some, like, some. Uh, most of them increased back in 2009 when this law well, was uh, amended so we could increase from 15 to $30. Uh, most of them did, but a lot of them kept it at 15 or just moved it up from wherever it was to 15 Right, right. So kind of and we did of, that, right? We yeah, went we from did, 5 to 15 yeah, at that time? Yeah. And then I remember the select board was saying, well, well is there somewhere in the middle? Mm -hmm. And have we even discussed that? Because now we're saying it's thirty dollars, and it'll be thirty thousand. I mean, have we discussed twenty? I mean, I'm just asking because I, I know that one mm -hmm. of the select board members asked yeah, that, and so I'm just reiterating the same question. Do we? Can have you, we? Do, do you uh, have to do thirty? No. We we're just saying 30. max is this right? So we're back at the envelope uh, calculation. Is that every uh, every five thousand dollars? Uh, every five dollars is five thousand dollars, right? So if you're going up, did I get that math right? <laughs> I don't think it did. Hmm. Well, it's thirty thousand. You're you're raising yeah. it by fifteen. Yeah. So five times fifteen. Um, and you're saying a by thousand, raising it fifteen. A thousand, thousand per every thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Yeah. But Thousand by every one dollar. Mm -hmm. So if you if your yeah. your fees right now two two thousand per every dollar. That's it. That's it because that's it's it. fifteen and it's thirty. Yeah. So so if you raised it ten, you'd be twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. I mean, 10, a lot of the, I many I mean, people I'm that just ask I'm sorry. Is that much much delinquency? That seems like an awful lot of. Delinquencies. You're yeah, that, assuming that by doubling it, you'd make thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Wow, that's yeah. a lot of. Why is it? You know, it seems like if if they're not paying because they don't have it, just to add another 
be if the, well, the food's counterproductive. Here's the thing. That's Why, what I said. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. But I'm <laughs> I'm in the area where we make loan payments all the time. Right, and right, it's right. not necessarily do they not have it. I read people's credit reports on a regular basis. Many, many times it's not because they don't have it. It's because they just haven't gotten around to it. Right. It's just one of those things that they just, you, 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 it's out of mind. And if there's a late fee, then they'll do it. Now, maybe you look at probably utilities, they're going to even get hit harder because there are no late fees on a lot of utilities. You know, people don't pay them they get around, whenever they get around to it. Mm -hmm. But I think that we also looked in this budget, and there is a spot in here for people like um, the elderly that we are going to help yeah. with what was $175 off their taxes yeah. if you know you can't help with excise tax no we so. can't help with excise tax but maybe they you know I'm just saying we are looking to help people in need but I'm not saying a lot of these late payments are necessarily people in need right you're only basing on your opinion of what you see at the bank right mm -hmm. yes. I look at it as, as if they're having a hard time paying and on time already you're gonna slap them with another thirty dollars I, I don't see that a lot some of them yes are having a hard time some of them no we can't it's not just because they're late doesn't mean they're having a hard time just means that they just haven't paid them. Mm -hmm. You all can vote. I'm not in favor of doubling the fee. Okay. Um, I'm not going to change my opinion that's on that. Fine. So you, you guys can do whatever you want. And the select board hasn't voted yet. You're not in favor of it even? Yeah, okay. I really, I, I would say that. Okay. And the select board hasn't voted yet, okay. and I think they were kind of still trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. okay. I wish we could hear how much we're really talking about. I mean, we're going on the assumption that people aren't going to pay. How how do we come up with, I know it's a 1000 for every. What is the percentage? Because last how many year, people don't. Oh, as far as how many yeah. people? They're saying that we made 30000 last year in late fees. And okay. If, they're at 15, if we double it, then we If we're at $15. I see. Then yeah. Then so that's gonna, how you did it. Yeah. From last year. Yeah. So, so it it really sounds really cool. Like oh, we're gonna get thirty thousand dollars. But the reality is, is that's not necessarily the case at all. Because last year might have been a harder year than this year is going to be. Right. And, and also that being things more are punitive. Looking up might reduce the number people. of people who are delinquent. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. If you if you have a thirty dollar a demand fee, maybe someone won't be delinquent. Pay because they won't be pay delinquent. because it's a bigger right. deal. Right. right? Which is well, they don't know what their demand fee is, do they? When they get their first excise tax bill, people know what demand. Do, do, does it say on that excise tax bill? If I it's don't not know what paid? it says on there. Yeah. So, so look at your excise tax bill and say, oh, if it's not paid on time, you're going to get a thirty dollars demand fee. I don't even think some of the people might not even know what the demand fee is. So what you're saying is that's not going to make or break people paying it on time. Right. It's like because we're saying, well, maybe it'll not. Yeah, I guess it's tough to say. If it's actually there and they say whatever, you're doubling it. That's they could care deal. less if it gets paid on time or not. And you're right. actually letting them know in advance that that's what it's going to be. That's one thing. But I don't know that it says it on your excise tax bill. Well, they have to come to town meeting. Come to town meeting and you'll know. I believe there's, that question like a credit it card says it was going to be out there. It was a credit be card bill somewhere. says if you don't yeah, pay so on late, you're late 30 sort of Yeah, no, that's that true. Talking about. You're, you're right, but I couldn't remember the details. I think it is posted somewhere. And I, I think that it is. Back. it does say you have to pay within 30 days of this bill, of the date of the bill. You have to pay within 30 on days. On your credit card bill, it tells you if you don't pay how much, if you don't pay on time, what your fee is going to be. Right? Yeah, they have a disclosure. Mm -hmm. That's right. Does your excise tax bill have that? I think they might, yeah. So I don't, I, I, I purely do not understand the concern here. I mean, if you're... Because I feel there are probably people out there who truly have a hard time or waiting for their tax refunds or whatever to pay those bills. Okay. And I kind of feel like you're so what's... socking it to people that you've already increased their real estate taxes on and other things. And I just kind of feel like... If we could keep a fee at a reasonable amount. So what's the pleasure of the board? That's my opinion. They don't have to vote. Well, I said. Uh, no, what's the pleasure <laughs> of the board? Yes. Do we want to vote or do we want to have a vote listed or not? It's not, I, um, 
Well, we can have a vote and it'll just be 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. Um, Wait, how do you know? It's up, yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> I'm actually trying to look on her website to see if it says it anywhere. But. Well, I think on the excise tax bill, it'll say this is how much you owe. If paid after this date, this, this is, is how, how much, much you owe. Oh, I'm and trying so I think to see. Always, I think people always get that notice, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I just don't know if it, it, it matters to me whether people are delinquent because they can't pay it or just because they're not prioritizing it. And if they're not prioritizing it, then I don't want to reward sloppy behavior. But if they're, if they're not paying it because they don't have the money, adding another $15 fee on top of what they already are going to accrue just seems cruel. You know, it just seems, um, it, it seems kind of productive. It seems not where we ought to be. Mm -hmm. For the sake of trying to balance. So when we go back and we say, and I'm just saying this, like maybe you should shave it a little differently because we keep saying, well, if it says yes, it's going to be 30000 more. Because, you, you know, know what I mean? But you're not relying on that 30000 We're too. really not because no. we talked about it. Well, we talked about giving it to the um, employees eventually, no, maybe, I using it for. I said hoping. if there's excess right. in if there is excess in the free cash, because right. it's proven fact over the past few years that we think it's one and we come in much higher. That's why I say I have a lot of faith in David. I just want to make numbers. sure that we didn't. I didn't do, include that thirty you know, thousand. I say. know none of us did. I just want to make sure that you know when you do your own budget, you're like, well, I can spend this because I know I have that coming in, mm -hmm. and I want to just make sure and have it very clear that we didn't do that when we were saying we're going to give the school this and we're going to give that. That we were actually going, well, you know, we'll be all right because we're probably going to get a yes vote on that thirty thousand dollars. No, well, we were figuring out those figures. It didn't. We mean, didn't include I didn't. it, but I know we didn't. I just want to say again. Yeah. We talked about the fall, and we said if that's a yes vote, we could talk about it. Yeah, I would again. like to see. And thirty thousand is a big deal if you're talking about the employees. So I just want to make sure that we're doing mm -hmm. the right thing first, and not try to wish we had done it differently, if we think this way, I bet town vote will too. Mm -hmm. So in other words, maybe we won't get the 30000 Then where will we be with the employees after we've given this all away? I just want to say that. Yeah. And I'm, I know that we I'm didn't... for still revisiting the employee structure. And if need be, we find it like we always do. But okay. we can't count on that anyways the select board actually has to put that into play right we can recommend it but it's the select board that puts that into play it's we're going to rely on david to pulling out that two-year thing mm -hmm. and getting it back uh, no we just a have a bunch of numbers mode. here i just and then i literally added thirty thousand if it passes Mm -hmm. Article 13 passed. Mm -hmm. So would so, either of you um, be more for it if it was like instead of going up the full amount, going up half the amount? Going up at all is what I'm asking. Would it be, uh, would you be for it if it was going up at all? Or uh, are you not for raising it at all? That's what I'm asking. I'm not for raising it at all at okay. this point. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I, I, I always like to compromise so you know that might be a, mm -hmm. a good approach okay again you have to you're still going to have to wait well i, I um but do we want to we we should probably put do we need to put it we could put a vote in at least um are you saying to you rather just wait what do you want to wait for oh i'm not board? well you i'm not going to be here anyway so my vote doesn't so if you're waiting for the select board on wednesday it's my vote doesn't matter. I'm not going to be here. And my vote today would be not to do it. So, again, it's on you three, really. So do we want to wait on Wednesday to see if the select board rather do it part way before we put a vote in? Can, can you change that? In the sure, you can recommend yeah. that you recommend it at 20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It could be part of your recommendation if that's where you are. Okay. Um, I'd rather be on the same page as the select board as far as if they're going to go up part way. Yeah, um, I'd like to hear what they have to say. Maybe we talk about it. I'm, I'm for it going up. Changing, yeah. Just 
Just think about it. You're already hitting people hard on their taxes, real estate taxes, too. And, and I know that our town collector is awesome, and she works with people. And I know that we're looking at helping other people with the work off program, helping mm -hmm. with the other taxes. I know we want to be there to help people. I'm all for helping people out with different things. But um, some of these are just standard in the marketplace, and I think that this is just... You know, we need we mm -hmm. could use the revenue for other things. So I think it's for me. I think it's a good move. I so, mean, it is a standard fee. Yes, oh, it's a standard it, late it, fee. It's <laughs> not going up one hundred and fifty dollars and making it one hundred fifty dollars. It's thirty dollars, which is to me is a total standard fee. I see it on everything. So I don't mm -hmm. think it's a. I don't think we're gouging at all. Um, all right, so David, why don't we skip this until yeah. Wednesday, and uh, we'll we'll uh, at this point. Do a little All right, more. skipping over to page 37, Article 23, the Home Rule Petition for a Special Law Relative to Elections, Town of Hadley. Okay. Does that candy bar thing? Oh, the town. The town Ranked election. choice elections are instant runoff balloting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have a recommendation listed here for either the select board or finance committee. You may decide that this is not a financial matter. Well, the only reason why I think it's a financial matter is it's going to cost us some money to, to implement it. But how much do we think? 3000 Well, some, and not just the, the machine alone, but also the, um, I think there was the training or there was some other issues with, um, yeah, the there's town other of, expenses. The town of Hadley shall conduct a voter education, education campaign. Yeah. yeah, so I think there is some... First one says the same thing. Nothing's changed on this. Uh, this is a more recent. Yeah, I just want nothing's changed from the other one, right? Uh, wording, you know? The wording, no, 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 no. Okay. So, um, I, uh, does someone want to put a motion in? I mean, the only thing that would pertain to us is the cost of the it's pretty minimal cost isn't it mm -hmm. what did we talk about what the um, clerk thinks yeah I thought or does she, that, she was I mean uh, we talked about what the collector thought do we yeah. the last one just curious was she at, I wasn't there, so I'm, when you guys. I think that it's um, more, more towards against, but would yeah. be my, my understanding, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm, I'm just thinking the same thing. Um, I don't think that we have to. I would either vote, in my own opinion, I'm either going to probably be leaning against it, or I'd vote against it, or I would be, um, if I if I skip the vote, I would be okay with that too, as long as it's not a large cost. But it you know I wouldn't if it's over ten thousand dollars, I think we should vote on it. But if it's going to be under ten thousand, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I'm all about skipping this one. Yeah, I'd mm -hmm. like to skip it. Do you, okay. is it going to be much more than that, David? No, no, I it's like so. okay, skip it then. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. uh, Article 24, move the senior center submitted by petition. Okay. I'm just curious, why did the select board not talk about it? They did talk about it, A but they bit. didn't talk about it with us. They did it in executive they, session. Oh, afterwards. executive, just, oh, okay, so they didn't want to talk about it on camera. So I also have a question, my thought was, is that because people, I guess it's up to the moderator, Brian, right, if they do secret ballot or whatever it is. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I'm, I'm like, in favor of that because I think there's a lot of people out there mm -hmm. who don't want to raise their hands in front of other people. So, you know, I'm, I'm for not pat voting on this now and just dealing with it on the yeah. town floor because mm -hmm. I think it's more so out of our hands. Mm -hmm. I think it is out of our hands, but I really think this is a big problem that there's going to be, that there's, that it's gone this far. That if there's not a, if the select board has not made an agreement 
and that sign is still up there at town meeting, I'm going to be strongly recommending that this stop. Yeah, it's a problem that our town's fighting, isn't it? It is a big problem. Why should and our town are be fighting? And, and the, heck, they're the seniors. <laughs> they're, and we have, young, so we have young veterans too, so it's yeah, like a, but a huge number of people. Actually. It's it's such a big. Why why they we can't make an agreement that makes both parties happy? Right. You know, I I don't. Well, I, I can't yeah. talk about it, but we're working on it. Okay. You know, it's like it, if you look at the. Uh, Select board agenda for tomorrow. You'll see the memo mm -hmm. for the American Legion as part of the executive session mm -hmm. materials. That's public information. Mm -hmm. that, that they're that, gonna... that part, the fact that they're talking about it. Right. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, at this point, you know, there's nothing we can say until we know have more. More, more facts on what's I don't think we should vote on it as a board anyways. I think it's more all our personal opinions where we sit with it. Well, right. well so yeah. congratulations. You have a warrant and you have a budget. Well done. Not until you check your numbers. Well, you've we, we got a path. You know, it's <laughs> important. You think about how many months We're ago we started on, this so and all the, all the yeah. extra yes. effort that you all have put into this. Many, many nights, many hours of looking over boring information and talking to people and trying to find the best path for the town. This is, this is a lot of good work that you all have done. You should feel very good about it. Great. So. When, when is the... Um, well, I know that the town meeting is Thursday the 3rd, right? Yep. I'll be out of town, just to let you know. It was scheduled a long time ago. Yep. You'll be back for Cinco de Mayo, right? No, I won't. Uh, when <laughs> when be is there. the no, uh, public forum? The week before, the 26th of April. I will be out of town all next week. The public forum, just to remind everybody, is not a mini-town meeting. It's just an informational session. Mm -hmm. We're not saying yes or no to anything. Just say, mm -hmm. here are the facts. Here are the fact bams. And that's... And so... We will need to. Um, you can go and sit in the audience. If you don't sit up. We should meet before town meeting. Okay. Okay. So typically, how it works is there's a list of items, and we split it up, and we all go up, and we will say a list. You know, go through the list. But I think we'd rather look at that. Can we hire Tom Pitta? Yeah, I know. That was nice. <laughs> well, Gabriel might go for it. Yeah. He likes to get up there and talk. <laughs> but we should, do we want to have, is what I'm saying, do we want to have a meeting before this all starts? Do we want to have something? To get so we're meeting on the plan? 26th, right, for the select board? 25th. So 25th, sorry. Yep, that's right. 25th, you, Wednesday. Wednesday, the 25th. And Terry, you said you're going to be gone this the this week. week, the 20 through the 23rd, right? This week is your when you're going the 23rd. Yeah, see. I'm gone. Is you're gone? And will you be back when you come back? Will you be back maybe Monday or Tuesday? Could we look at um, maybe even the Wednesday before town meeting? Is there something? I plan on being back, but I'm to be honest with you, it's it's really up in the air right now. Okay. So May 3rd, you usually meet jointly with town council, select board, moderator in my office mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock. And then if there are any remaining issues, we go through them. There shouldn't be at that point, but that's what we usually do. All right. Yeah. I'll be out of town on the 2nd. Oh, so that's right. You won't even be there. But I could... Okay. Meet on the thirtieth or the first. You really but, don't okay, need to. Yeah, I, you, that's fine. We're just go over and what? I'm a layman. We're going over. Right. See you next. See you yeah. next town meeting. <laughs> okay. Well, but we'll talk to Gabriel on um, the twenty fifth, and if we need to, we'll. I bet you he'll take them all. If we want to go over it, yeah. So I'm sorry, I can't help. But that's okay. I'll help next time. That's okay. right. You'll be fine. There's no worries there. All right. So I think we have everything. Um, so do we have a motion to adjourn? A motion to adjourn. Well done. A second. Thank you. Good job. Bye. Have a good night.